Hi everyone, it's Marina from Say Something Crafty. I am here to do a project share with you. These are um, these are the journals that I made using the fabrics that I had showed you a little while ago that I got back in February. And I've been wanting to use them for a while and so I am super excited I got to make these. Um, I used every single <laughs> a piece from every single uh, new fabric that I got from the uh, Asian collection. So these pieces I made, these ones are, these patches are a little bit bigger than usual because I wanted to see more of the design. I wanted more of the design to come through. So these are three by three, I believe. These patches are, they are, um, these were really fun to make. I actually had most of it done before I moved and then I just got all the thing finished just now. So. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do a flip through for you and I'm going to start with this one. These are more, um, what did I call them, Traveler's Junk Journals. So I of course have the homemade boho tassel uh, journal jewelry type situation here. This is um, one of the boho beads that I made and then I went ahead and made a homemade tassel that goes with the book to go on here and it's removable if the recipient doesn't want it on there they can take it off and it's got an elastic closure and inside is just all fabric and I've put I've put um, three elastic bands in here so that they could the recipient could either what I like about these journals is that the recipient can either put their junk journal pages in here or they can use uh, standard traveler's notebook inserts so I really like that um, let's see here so each each one of these comes with an envelope that I copy dyed and stamped on and inside is just some extra ephemera it's got um, a page here note pages a couple of note pages a couple of tickets and a couple of tags the copy dyed tickets these ones here are I got these from Irene and I copy dyed all, a lot of them actually and um, I love using them in journals. So the paper collection that I used is uh, Apothecary? I can't remember you guys, I can't remember, but it's Graphic 45, I do remember that. So I just put some it's a junk journal theme, so it's kind of got a bunch of random stuff in here. There's some vintage stuff in here. There's stuff that I just had in my stash. This is one of the vintage music pages that I got from Irene. This book here is the elements of projection drawing, and I have all of these pages are in every single one of the books so that the recipients will all get, um, will all get some vintage stuff in there. And this is one of the archaeology books. I believe the book was from 1937. And it was uh, for college class. I really like these. These archaeology pages are just fantastic. And I have a pocket here. And inside the pocket I've put a couple of note, pe note pieces here. And these, uh, there's a few of them. And they're sticky. So I like that. It's like sticky notes. So that's in this pocket and then there's just a tuck spot here and I did some stamping on one of the coffee dyed paper bags and just stuck another one of these in there. There's a couple pages to take notes on. And there's the center of the signature and then there's just some extra stuff that I clipped on. Um, some ephemera. So cute. Some more coffee dyed pages. And I just have some extra random stuff tucked in these. I 
love how this coffee dyed paper turned out so pretty and that's the back and in the back of this one there is a little charm in here to keep it from keep the elastic from going through that's also removable if, if the recipient would like to take that off of there it's removable and I like these so much I was able to get a bunch of different patterns of stitching in here is so pretty and then there's of course room for growth in here or you know replacements and all that I was just gonna make the covers and um, leave it like that but I feel like there needs to be something in there so <laughs> I really like that and then there's this one this I really like the sparkly trim in this one or not the trim it's the um, fibers eyelash yarn then there's some sorry silk ribbons there's some leftover fabric strips from the paper or from the fabric collection then there's uh, this t-shirt yarn I had left over from a while ago I have hadn't used it and I just found it you know when I moved and I was like I'm gonna use I gotta use this for something it looks like it go the color is good everything and then of course it's got that really different beautiful assortment of fabrics in here look at how vibrant and beautiful that is I love it so I have some of these uh, sorry silk ribbons on there just I really 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 love it it's so pretty and again inside is a hand copy dyed and stamped envelope with some extras, tickets and tags and such. And that's just clipped on in here. More elements of projection drawing. Extra stuff tucked in here. I just did a little label there and I sewed these pockets in. All of them have a sewed pocket. And here is some Tim Holtz ephemera. And all these come out. There's a ticket here that comes out. And then just a little bit of extra stuff. All this stuff is like stuff that I had in my stash um, to make a junk journal. I like keep almost everything, like a lot of stuff. And I just have that in there with, oh, it's a die cut. This is happy. So there's just some extra stuff to pull around with. And then I put a um, glassine paper bag in here. And it's just got a little bit of extra ephemera and stuff to mess with, to play with, to add to the journal, or put in their stash or collection. Paper bag. And there's a tag and some cutouts in here. Guest check and some Tim Holtz ephemera in a tag, and that's the back. So pretty, really love these. So that's that one. And then there's this one, and this one has a blue boho bead, and um, this bead is amethyst. So pretty. Let me go ahead and open that up so you guys can see it. I love these colors. They're so pretty. I love them. Okay. Let me go ahead and go in the book. And again, it's another one of the envelopes that I copy dyed, stamped on, and it's got the same ephemera inside. So 
some tickets um, stapled on here. Some more ephemera. And then I clipped on a tag here, and then there's some paper here to write on. Some more tags, and inside is just some ephemera for my stash. And there's the other side of that paper bag, and it's just got some more stuff in here. That's the back, and this one has a clover on it for a stopper. It's a golden clover. So that are, that is these three journals, and I'm going to have these listed in my Etsy shop. And if you have any questions, let me know. I hope you guys enjoyed the flip through. Sorry, I'm a little tired. It's late, and I've been so busy. So. I wanted to get these done though. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys next time. Bye.